Okay, welcome back to part two of the video uh, series on calculating segregation indexes and uh, ghettos in America. Um, you can dismiss uh, the statistics here and this Americans. Now, you're going to uh, calculate a statistic that allows us to quantify numerically the level of segregation of white people from black people in this county, Wayne County, Michigan. But before you can do that, you need to save a copy of this layer of Wayne County, Michigan layer to your own drive because the one that you have been working on is read only and it is on a university server. You cannot uh, alter it. So what you must do is in the table of contents, right click on Wayne County, Michigan. From the drop down menu, select data and export data. When this dialog window export data appears, click on the browse or open file folder icon. Make sure you click on go to G default geodatabase and that will ensure that you are saving it on your own VSL drive. This is a drive that's attached to your virtual software library drive. Name the file mi wayne co for county or something to that effect and click save click ok and click yes when it prompts you to add the layer to the map now you have a brand new copy of the map you had been working on i urge you to uncheck over in the table of contents the map you have been working on that is on the CSUN server and now you can focus on just this uh, layer. Make sure that you understand what you did right there because you're going to have to repeat that process for Harris County, Texas, Mecklenburg County, North Carolina, and for some bonus points perhaps for LA and Orange County as well. If you skipped that step you will not be able to complete the subsequent steps. So please make sure that you have your own copy on your own drive. Now the next part is to calculate the amount of segregation in Wayne County. And we're going to use something called the index of dissimilarity, which is a statistical measure of how separate the black people and the white people are from each other. Here's essentially what this formula says or how to translate it. We begin inside the straight lines and the BI stands for each individual census tract in Wayne County and how many black people. So in each individual census tract there is a number of black people and in all of the census tracts combined is the capital B. So that's individual census tract the number of black people divided by the total number of black people in the entire county. Over here on the right side this WI stands for the number of white people in individual census tracts divided by the total number of white people in all the census tracts. We take the difference between the two, the subtraction sign in the middle, and the absolute value. That's what these two bars stand for. All we're asking by asking for the absolute value is to make sure there are no negative numbers. So if it comes out negative, then we just turn it to positive. Then we multiply, uh, we sum the whole thing, and we multiply it by one half or uh, 0.5 as you will see. Don't get freaked out. First rule of geography is there's no freaking out. We can handle this. This is not too bad and you are capable of doing it. Now let's try it in ArcMap. 
there's a couple of ways of doing it. You can either strike out on your own and see if you can figure it out, or I'll give you a little way to, to cheat on it. So back over to the map, right click on your new layer, in this case, MI Wayne County, open the attribute table, click on the table options drop down menu arrow, and click on add a field. When the add a field dialog window opens, select float and give the field a name. This index is a good name for this and click OK. It appears that nothing happened, but if you scroll over to the right, you'll notice that your new column has appeared and it is full of null values. Here's where we're going to calculate the dissimilarity index. But before we start, we have to get some data associated with the dissimilarity index. I'm going to scroll over here to the left. The first thing we need to get is the total number of white people. So we can click on statistics. Here is a sum, 951, 936. And we can write that down on a piece of paper or copy it and stick it over on another application. We have to then repeat this with the black total column. So I can select black total from the drop down menu and now we have 737,943. So that's our total number of black people and our total number of white people. Scroll back to the right, right click on the column header dis index and click on field calculator. It's going to give us a little nag window here to tell us that we're calculating outside of an edit session and we can just click yes that's okay. So next what we want to do is to calculate the dissimilarity index and type in 0.5 and a multiplication symbol and click right there and then select from the functions absolute. That's telling us that we're going to multiply uh, by 0.5 the absolute value of something and that absolute value that we're going to uh, multiply with is here this part of the formula. The BI in the formula is the total number of black people in each census tract. How do we get that? First, uh, let's add another open parentheses, and then we're going to click on black, T -O, black underscore T-O-T, uh, double click on that, and it will add the population of the census tract uh, of each of the census tracts individually. I'm going to divide that by the total number of black people that we wrote down from before, which was 737,943. Going to move to the other side. and We can go ahead and take any of these extraneous spaces out of the formula. We're going to then subtract or take the difference between that percentage in each row and the second half of that equation here the WI, which is the number of white people in each individual census tract, by the total number of white people in all of Wayne County. So that is double click on white total and then a division sign and then we want to enter the number of uh, white people in all the county that we already wrote down on a piece of paper which was 951, 936, and then we can uh, close the parentheses twice, and I think I see an extra space there, and that formula should be good to go. Now, if this was too complicated for you, I've given you a shortcut. If you go over to the learning management software, and you scroll down from the index of dissimilarity, I've given you the formula. Here you can highlight it, copy it, and go over to the field calculator and paste it in. 
right over top of that. Now if I paste it there, you see, oh, it looks quite similar. Uh, maybe an extra space in here um, in the one that I wrote, but that shouldn't make too big of a deal. Um, but you only need one of these, so I'm going to erase the one I created. This is the one I pasted in, and click OK. And the field calculator runs. Notice that your dissimilarity index no longer has null values, but instead uh, some numbers. These numbers should match the dissimilarity index that I cleverly already put in here. So if you have matched these, you've done it correctly, and you know how to calculate the dissimilarity index. These values represent the values for individual census tracts, but in order to get the dissimilarity index for the entire county, right-click on statistics and look for the value under sum, which completes the formula from above. This sigma, the Greek letter sigma, stands for sum, and that's the only thing we had not yet calculated. At this point, answer a question or two for your learning management software. Okay, so hopefully you uh, took care of that and it's all okay. Your assignment moving forward, your task is to replicate what you have done with uh, Wayne County here. In order to do that, right click uh, on Harris County, Texas in the table of contents and click zoom to layer. Unclick the base map here and go ahead and change the properties to quantities. Do the same thing with uh, percent black. So it's black BLK PCT and change that to um, equal interval like we had done before. Same thing about 20%, 40%, 60 up to 94 and click OK and OK. Answer some questions about uh, this map. You're expected to recognize a pattern in the distribution of African Americans. Uh, then you can export the data as we had done before uh, to your VSL drive and you would call that one something to the effect of um, Texas Harris Co. After you do that, you would once again um, open the attribute table, add a field, calculate the dissimilarity exit, um, index, answer some questions about that. You will then uh, move on, zoom to Mecklenburg County, um, map the percent black in that county, which is um, black percent right there. Again, change it to equal interval and apply and OK. Notice that it has yet another pattern that is similar or that is different than what we saw in Wayne County or Harris County. You will calculate the index of dissimilarity for that county as well answer a few questions, and then if you are uh, feeling like you want to stretch your legs on this and earn some bonus points, then uh, do the same thing for LA County, for Los Angeles County, and for Orange County, California. They have yet other patterns or uh, patterns that are different than um, Wayne, Harris, and Mecklenburg counties. That, my friends, uh, marks the conclusion of the second of two video tutorials on calculating dissimilarity indexes and evaluating the pattern of African-American segregation in the United States. I hope you found it informative.